I'm Blake Hargreaves, and this is Future Stops. What you're hearing is a work by the late American composer John Cage, titled Organ Squared Slash As Slow As Possible, a performance of which is taking place in Halberstadt, Germany. This composition is notated without any indication of tempo other than the title, leaving its total length to be ultimately decided by the interpreter. Today on Future Stops, we visit a performance of this work which takes Mr. Cage's as slow as possible instructions to heart. Reiner Neugebauer is the director of the John Cage Organ Foundation, the group behind this unique Cage interpretation. Uh, first, there was a, a, a piano piece from John Cage. Uh, it's called ASLSP. And this was uh, on uh, one hand as slow as possible, on the other hand something like a very softly uh, uh, whisper in the morning, yes. So uh, this is a typical cage, yes. The, the, the interpreter, the, the, the organist must play it as slow as possible on the other side. And uh, this piece was... Uh, uh, um, uh, yeah, rewrote uh, uh, for an organ piece, yes. And there was a, a question, um, what does uh, as slow as possible mean by an organ? Because by a piano instrument, the, um, uh, the strings uh, sounded out, yes, and the organ is an uh, aerophone, a wind instrument, and when the wind is continuously and permanently, you can play it long, very, 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 very long. in uh, southern Germany in Trossing in, in 1998 uh, uh, there were uh, this piece was played uh, there was a question yeah well, what does it mean uh, as slow as possible by an organ and uh, they think about uh, um, oh the organist must go to loo sometimes or eat something <laughs> yes uh, um, then uh, uh, there was an idea uh, no, uh, we can fix the uh, keys, yeah, the, uh, and uh, uh, we need an we don't need an organist any time, only when the chord changes. So and then they are oh, we can play it hundred years or a thousand years, no? and uh, thousand years in Germany not good, correct, and eh? not politically correct. Okay, this idea to play this uh, uh, organ to ASLSP, this was the title of the organ piece uh, from 1987. The idea to play it very, very long, uh, there was a connection, a private connection between uh, one participant in uh, this organ conference in Trossing and uh, a very famous uh, local uh, um, metal builder and artist here in Halberstadt. And uh, uh, the young uh, uh, composer in Trossing asked Johann Peter Hinz here, the, uh, uh, the metal builder, uh, can you imagine that here this uh, empty church? Yeah? And then there was the idea we made here a realization from this piece, Organ 2 LSP from John Cage. And there was a Every, everybody who is interested in music uh, from uh, uh, in, in music history said, oh, in Halberstadt, yes, there was a very famous organ in the year eight, uh, th- uh, 1361, <laughs> uh, the so-called Faber organ. Uh, Faber was a monk and uh, the instrument, maybe the first instrument where the keys I uh, have the uh, division, the octave, and 12 half tone. And this is the basic for all the uh, classical music from uh, the 15th century to uh, uh, 20th century uh, Schoenberg 12 tone music. So, and this 3061. And the uh, year 2000 is a mirror X, yeah, 3061 to 2000, there are 
60, 39 years. Yes, and this was the idea to play this uh, piece 639 years. Uh, the uh, uh, piece has eight parts. Uh, every part can be repeated. We repeat one part, yes, but we have not made the decision which part. This can make uh, uh, later generations. Yes. We only uh, calculate the first part, 71 years, yes, and uh, the first part ends on 5th of September of uh, 2072. And yes, it's not n no more my problem because then I'm, I'm in other spheres. Yes, you heard that right. This performance of organ squared slash as slow as possible is 639 years long. The work begins with a rest, which in this performance lasted 17 months before any notes began to play. The notes last changed in 2013. Today's note changing marks the longest space between two changes in the entire work. The next change will be in February 2022. The music of John Cage is a strong example of conceptual music. It marks a career spanning from the 1930s to his death in 1992. His music from his early period is notable for the influence of Eastern philosophies, including the use of chance and randomness in his composition process. His best known work, 4 minutes 33 seconds, is a performance where the interpreter makes no deliberate sounds. The content of the work are the non-deliberate and chance vibrations audible to any listener, and the spaces between them. The care with which Cage treats the moments between notes is of particular interest in this work, where the interpreter must answer the question of how slow is it possible to make music and have it still be music. Kai Lautenbach is well versed in the questions Cage poses in this work. He is a member of the executive board of the foundation in Halberstadt and joins us with a little help from a nearby translator. It is a project about music and as a sound engineer this is my profession. And But it's not only about music, it's about philosophy of time and the time you work on it you discover so many more elements which made you think about it that you never thought before. So in my usual profession, I occupied with solving technical issues, right, actual, that are on the plan. And, and when I work on this project, I forget all these things because, yeah, as you said, as will, it will overlive me. And um, uh, so I, I'm always in, an, in a, another world, another thinking world. Uh, I'm a gym scout and uh, well we came here for the uh, change listen to it <laughs> but yeah actually it's kind of in interesting uh, to see this project of cage which is um, yeah kind of confusing because you only listen to one sound for for the, such a long period of time it yeah it questions the concept of art and the concept of music uh, which is yeah built up by by humans, but we're only uh, limited in our re reception of sound and of uh, yeah of the connection. So we we don't see the structure of it when we come here. We only listen to one sound, and now we can see one change which comes after seven ye years. And uh, yeah, it it questions uh, the du duration of uh, of music and of our lives also and actually it's great to see as well how many people are fascinated by the questions that this project uh, uh, puts on the table and so it's just exciting to to be part of it uh, and it solves already the fascination of people for this project is answering is a, is a kind of an answer to some of the questions the project putting on for the composer for John Cage he wanted to experiment with uh, one of the parameters of tone. 
and, and the, the longness and uh, the, 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 the duration is one of the parameters. Yeah? The, the high of the tones, the uh, loudness uh, and, and, and something like uh, what we call the color of the sound. Yeah? And so uh, he, he was interested in to, think, to hear things he had never heard. He was interested in to hear thing, new things. Yes? Bernstein asked him, uh, uh, Dear John, do you want to uh, conduct a, a symphony from Beethoven? And he said, Oh, yeah, but uh, only if he can conduct all nine together. Yeah? He wants to hear new things. Yeah? And uh, so, and for the, uh, for the interpreter, for the, for the organist, or for, for us, I, I'm not a musician. Yeah? I'm, I'm, I, I, I uh, read all the things about Cage and. Uh, so and I'm interested in music and so um, there you made made decisions yeah, yeah you made say okay uh, as slow as possible it asked in our calculation 639 years yeah? and then there can uh, come a uh, old man and say to me oh maybe 640 years a little bit slower <laughs> yes uh, we have many open questions, but this is, uh, is the idea of Cage. He loved open questions. Yeah, he said, uh, "I don't want to answer something because the question is so good. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it with an answer." And yes, and, and um, the, the 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 organist must uh, uh, make his own decisions. Yeah, how long? Right? Cage only fixed the high of the tone, the level of the tone, and the duration, but the relative duration, yes. Uh, his, his, his famous piece is the 433. 4 minutes 33 seconds with three sentences or three parts and every part is uh, over titled with Tarzet, silence. Yes. And he said, what we need in music, Cage said, is a very, very long performance from my silent piece. Yeah, yeah he, he's walking uh, in, in the nature and under the trees and he heard, heard uh, to the birds, yes, and, and uh, this was yeah, for him, he wants to hear the new things, he wants to hear the smallest difference, he wants to hear the uh, growing of the mushrooms, yes, <laughs> and the music of the spores, yes, it's, it's sometimes, uh, it, it, it seems a little bit crazy, but if you open your eyes, and open your ears, yes, and uh, don't uh, uh, make uh, 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 something like, judgment uh, this is good and this is good and this is beautiful and this is ugly and this is uh, 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 real music and this is not music it's no noise or something if you have empty mind Kate said empty mind to open ears happy new ears <laughs> yeah, uh, to listen to the millions of sound it's sound everywhere I'm um, Michael, um, from Zurich, Switzerland. I like a lot of his works, the fascinating works of John Cage, especially um, the philosophy f um, from uh, things like, oh, okay, um, if you wash your dishes uh, by hand, there are so many wonderful sounds and so yeah, if you listen to the world. This is one point. The other point is um, I'm really fascinated by the time, the phenomenon of time. And I think this is a really nice bridge to understand how, how, how time is working a little bit. Ideas of time and duration are only part of what John Cage's work is exploring. The influence of his teacher Arnold Schoenberg is evident in his deconstruction of the twelve tones of Western music, for example in his work for Prepared Piano, in which the interpreter places metal, ceramic, and other household objects onto the strings of the piano, distorting and altering the pitches.
Cage's work, like that of his contemporaries, questions the supremacy of the division of an octave into twelve tones, which, as we heard earlier, can be traced back to the famous Halberstadt organ from 1361. And uh, a modern uh, composer, in, uh, uh, a very famous composer, American composer in uh, America, Harry Page, he was a friend of John Cage, um, he uh, uh, wrote a book, uh, yes, he wrote a book in, in 1947, it's called uh, Genesis of a Music. This was a very big book uh, of all aspects of music. And there was a chapter, and it was uh, titled over with A Fatal Day in Halberstadt. Why a fatal day? Because other uh, divisions of the octave, other divide, other parts, maybe in 43, uh, sorry, 43 parts, yes, they are out of the mainstream of the music. And the modern uh, components must re-event in the second half of the 20th century that there are other uh, 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 possibilities to divide the octave, yeah? and microtones and something like uh, lousy tones. Yeah? So right? if, you, if you play a string instrument yeah? and uh, you're not on the right uh, point with, with your finger, so this. Yes, and um, one of the uh, 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 things of modern music is that all sound, also what we call noise, yeah, it's uh, material of music, yes, and music is not only the, the good tones from the piano or from instruments, also the sound of traffic or the sound of the wind, the sound of the people here. And what brings you here today? Well. <laughs> The change of the sound, for me it's like the sounds of silence and uh, of course uh, the seven years now the same sound and I went uh, several times here to uh, draw, to uh, make sketches, but not in a uh, typical way. I'm um, hearing to the, I'm, I'm listening to the sound and um, I try to, um, well, uh, to look at things which are in the church and I'm um, going with a pencil like the sound. It's like uh, something together. So for me it's like, let's say, the seven years are like a second or like I don't know, like the eternity. <laughs> so um, it's 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 very difficult to to um, to try to talk about what I'm feeling. <laughs> it's paradoxon. So um, I just can say that I really feel home in this um, church when I'm there. I'm really inside of myself and also in the world and between the earth and the sky. So it's something, well, without words to, to explain. <laughs> well. <laughs>
You're listening to the Future Stops podcast, an initiative of the Royal Canadian College of Organists. My name is Blake Hargreaves, and I am your host as we explore the world of the 21st century organ. We just heard today's feature piece, an excerpt from John Cage's Organ Squared slash As Slow As Possible, performed by Hans Ola Eriksson and Christoph Bussert. The 639-year-long version in Halberstadt obviously is not the work of a single organist holding down the keys. So how is it performed? In the church, a unique pipe organ is used to play the piece, a pipe organ which is specifically designed to accomplish this 6th century task. Built by Romanus F. Seifert and Son, it contains only the number of ranks, tone valves, and sliders needed to accommodate the maximum simultaneously sounding pipes to perform this work, one for each pitch. While today's event is described as a note change, it's actually an addition of two tones to create a new chord. And if you're curious, a photo of this portion of the score is available on our Instagram page if you'd like to take a look at the two chords. Members of the foundation and celebrated musicians are inserting two additional pipes into the organ to take the number of sounding pipes from five to seven. The keys are held down using small sandbags hanging from them. Uh, this was a, a very famous uh, sopranistin, yeah, soprano singer. Uh, uh, she uh, has won uh, the Cage Prize from the uh, here in Halberstadt. We, we have some master classes every second year, yes, and she was one of the winner. And uh, Julian, uh, the little bit taller man, was a, a very young but, but famous componist. He was born in Hannover, but he lives in Paris. Yeah, and uh, yes, uh, he he also won a Cage Prize for composition for ten years, uh, roundabout. And we say uh, our, our idea is we need young people to make the tradition that they work uh, going on going on going on yes and um, they are they are very famous uh, composer and s singer and, and uh, yes I, I'm glad that they are here because it was what it was, was very good for me Last minutes, I thought it's like what I felt when I was the first time here. When I was the first time here, nobody was here. I just went alone by myself. It was in winter time. It was very cold. I went into the church for two hours by myself. Nobody else have been there. They closed the door for me so I could be alone. And um, I tried to explain before, it was like I, I came into myself and in, in a, well, let's say in, in, in something, uh, in the sound of silence. So now it's like that first moment, it, it's, I, I feel that people are very in, 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 in a tension, but not in a hard tension, they're, they're like very... Um, um, I don't know the English word. Um, it's a concentration. I feel that people are like um, waiting, but but very nice. They they are waiting very kindly, and maybe it's my feeling is that the atmosphere would was like. John Cage tried to um, to give to the people through himself, through himself being an artist um, doing the um, music, but he went through like a transformation and then it went well to the world and to the sky and to the earth. So, so I have the feeling that this special transformation feeling, let's say, is now in this moment here. Yeah, uh, we, we see in, in the last 20 years some uh, somebody that uh, work with us uh, is gone. Some uh, manchen gestorben. Yeah, some people died. Some we people died. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah it's, it's, that's life. No? So life yeah. means that 
life is a project and you li you work on a project as you work in your life yeah. so I have the privilege I lived here in a, one of the richest countries yes and uh, I have a good job uh, uh, I have enough money uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm, there's no hunger there's no war here yes and I know that we live off the coast of the poor people in the third world, yes, and I know that our uh, 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 administration is in, 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 in wars and something and, and, and uh, capitalism and all this uh, shit things, yes, but uh, you must don't forget this, that, that is a ba basic that we can do here I think a very wonderful, hopeful, uh, full, uh, without any intentions or something. Yeah? It's sound, just sound, nothing but sound. Yeah? Don't uh, think about meanings or interpretation. Yes, Cage would say, don't think uh, of, of a story behind the tones or the sound or. A, the sound, they have no names, they don't call uh, Beethoven or Mozart. They are sound, just sounds, and open uh, your ears and listen to the sound. He's his own center, he's his own worth. This is, this is a philosophy it's, uh, from, from John Cates, it's very nearby me, yes? And I, I, I think I learned among um, uh, things from Cage, among things on uh, he was a was a was a absolute uh, softly friendly anarchist. It's, it's wonderful. I feel the addition of these two new notes makes the drone sound scarier, like a slow motion horror film soundtrack for this very special year we're living through. As I explore the church, I can also hear vast differences in the sound of this droning chord, depending on where I'm standing in the room. Different tones gain emphasis, and the overall character changes so much. John Cage would have loved the idea of finding a whole piece of music contained within one drone. In typical Cage fashion, it seems the more we look into his work and ideas, the more questions these ideas pose. One could spend a lifetime exploring the work of this great composer, and as much as we'd like to do just that, today's episode of Future Stops is almost over. I'd like to thank Rainer Neugebauer, Kai Lautenbach, and everyone involved in the John Cage organ project of Halberstadt for sharing with us this important moment, the transition from the longest droning span between pitch changes in the entire 600 years. We'd also like to thank you for listening to this episode of Future Stops, and if you find yourself in Halberstadt sometime in the next 600 years, remember you can book your own private listening session in the church and experience this work for yourself. Please subscribe to this podcast so you never miss an episode. A new edition of Future Stops is available every second Tuesday, and you can find photos, videos, and an ongoing conversation about each episode on our Facebook page and Instagram account under Future Stops Podcast. In the coming weeks on Future Stops, we meet an extraordinary organist who responded to the pandemic by giving free concerts to the confined with an electronic pipe organ on the back of a flatbed truck and the director of the runaway hit documentary, Pipe Dreams, about organists competing in the Olympics of the Pipe Organ, the Canadian International Organ Competition. Future Stops is a podcast from the Royal Canadian College of Organists, produced by Andrew O'Connor, with Haley Raymond as community manager, executive producer Elizabeth Shannon, and I'm your host, Blake Hargreaves.